and that's the information that will appear on your dispute letters. You also need to know that we do not sell, share, or distribute your personal information, and everything that you enter there and throughout the app is encrypted using top-level encryption methods to make it very difficult, if not totally impossible, for hackers to access your information. Okay. Um, if you're a hacker and you're looking at this, please don't take offense to that. We really want you to understand that the purpose of this IAP is helping millions of people that have had credit issues, and this is the only automated tool on the market. So please don't try to do anything. Uh, we don't want to slow down um, usage for anybody else. So a uh, little joke that I'm making there, people, because uh, it's very, very secure. So this is a verification images screen. Uh, this is telling you that we require at least a photo ID right here and a signature right here at the bare bones minimum the first and fourth things. However, I'm definitely going to recommend that you provide all images for best results and there's a couple reasons why. If you don't provide proof of your social security number or proof of your address, after credit agencies have up until 30 days and sometimes there's an exception where they can have up to 45 days to verify your information and to also ask for verification of accuracy, completeness, or verifiability of an account that you're disputing. And they might wait for 30 to 45 days to mail you a letter that still takes another two or three days to come in that could be confusing. You might not even realize what it says, but it might say buried within there. It might say unable to dispute this account or all these accounts because we need proof of your social security number and we didn't receive that okay so I definitely recommend that you complete all of these things so another thing I want to show you is on any of these screens if you click on the X to X out you're gonna get a pop-up that says are you sure you want to exit the app this screen is telling you that in order to analyze your credit report credit u turn needs at least one picture of an ID and for you to create a signature for your dispute letters okay so we click cancel right here and we go back to take picture of photo ID now once we click that it says take a picture of driver's license or government issued ID credit agencies want proof that is you disputing your credit so first thing is always recommending that you use a driver's license that matches the address that you provided if you don't have a driver's license a state issued ID if you don't have a driver's license or state issued ID like a military ID something that's very very official document okay so we're gonna click OK here and then we're going to allow credit u turn to take pictures and record video we're not recording any video but you do want to click allow if you click deny on any of these things you're not going to be able to use the credit u turn app because we have to be able for you to access your camera to be able to take pictures okay so hopefully you're using your mobile phone whenever you use the mobile app because it's easier for you whenever you use your mobile phone because you'll be able to take a better picture of your driver's license and proof of your social and that sort of thing. Whenever you do take a picture, turn your phone sideways, horizontal, so that you can fit your driver's license within the same aspect ratio of your mobile phone screen so that you'll get a better image and fill up the entire screen. Don't take a little tiny image, fill up as much of your screen as possible. So for the purposes of this demo though, I'm using a desktop app to simulate using a mobile app. So I loaded in preloaded fake images of a driver's license, social security card, and uh, like a utility bill. So I'm going to go to the gallery, not the camera, and in the gallery I'm going to select a fake ID and um, it asked me if I want to allow credit u turn to access photos, media, and files on my device. I said yes, allow. And then I'm going to move this right here to highlight the information that I want it to see. Now, if you take your pictures on your camera, on your mobile phone, you're not going to have this issue. But as you can see here, I cannot put the whole ID within this little area and I can't stretch this right here so I have to fit it within this area if you take your picture on um, using the camera on your phone it'll always fit within there so I'm just gonna move that around as best as possible then I'm gonna go up here and click crop and then it shows a green check mark that says that I've completed that now our security 
I can't see that, my team can't see it, you can't even see your ID, and it's not stored where it's visibly accessible to any referral partner, affiliate, or anybody within like back-end dashboards. That image is literally encrypted so that nobody can see it, okay? Um, proof of social security number, I clicked that button, and it says take a picture of your social security card, W-2 or 1099 forms, tax forms. Credit agencies want proof that is you disputing your credit. So again, this is going to be encrypted, and so nobody's going to be able to access it. The only way that your image, it, the only person or party that sees your image is the end recipient, which is the credit agency. They're going to receive it anyway. If you don't use this mobile app and you wrote dispute letters, you would literally fold up copies of your driver's license, your social security card, and like proof of your address, and you would mail it in mail. We don't mail it. We use a much more secure method. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to click OK here, and I'm going to go to the gallery. I'm going to click the social security card, and I'm going to click crop, green check mark. Then I'm going to click proof of address, take a picture of a recent utility bill, bank statement, or postmark mail, proving your address to the credit agency so they know that it's you disputing your credit. Again, in this one, this is a little bit different. So your utility bill, bank statement, is usually going to be like a full sheet of paper. I don't need you to take a picture of that whole sheet. I don't need the account number. All that you need to do is take a picture of a portion of that bill that will fit within the full screen of the mobile phone that displays your address, a recent date, hopefully less than 30 days old, and who the bill came from, okay? That way they can authenticate that it's a recent utility bill or bank statement or postmark mail. Postmark mail is last resort, so preferably utility bill, phone bill, gas bill, electric uh, bill, uh, something along those lines, or a bank statement. So, and also in that second option where you took a picture of your Social Security, if you used your W-2 or your 1099 and your W-2 or 1099 address is still the same, you don't really necessarily need to do this third thing because the credit agencies will utilize your 1099 or your W-2 as your proof of address plus your proof of your social. So now on this one, you can see that all that I'm doing is I'm moving this little box around so it highlights the company, it highlights the uh, personal um, address, name and address, it highlights the company's address, and it highlights the most recent date of activity. You click crop, green check mark, and then the last thing, all the dispute letters will always be signed with your signature. So you don't want to create a sloppy signature. You want to sign your signature on the mobile phone screen sideways as close as you can to the signature that's on your ID because the credit agency, the person reviewing your dispute letter, is going to want to see whether or not your signature looks similar to the signature that you have on your ID. So I'm going to tap that Create Signature, sign your name as close as possible to the way that appears on your photo ID so the credit agencies don't reject your dispute letters. Click OK, and then sign your name. So I'm just putting Test right here in the middle and signing it like I would maybe on an ID. I'm going to click Save, and then a box opens up. I can move around to make sure that my signature appears in there. Now, whenever you sign sideways, if you notice, you don't want to sign outside that box area, so kind of sign it a little bit in the middle of the screen, just sideways, okay? Click Crop, and that creates your signature, and then something magical just happened. After you complete those things and you got those check marks, a button here pops up that says Continue, so we're going to click Continue, 